We're going to just do a video short today for Whoops in the Dungeon on safety. It's been a while since we've talked about safety, but I want you to realize when you're doing two-handed work, safety is more important, especially in the learning process. Not only safety for you as the thrower, but also safety for the, the whip catcher if your catcher is willing to participate in part of that learning process with you. Uh, because they're willing to stand before you actually have maybe the skill level you're going to have after several years of throwing two-handed. So I wear glasses and a wide-brimmed hat. I'm not going to wear safety goggles because I'm wearing uh, prescription glasses with, with my broad-brim hat. If you don't wear glasses or you wear contacts, I'm going to recommend some safety goggles. There are a number of different styles. Just find a style that's comfortable for you and realize that when you've got two whips going at once and you're beginning, whether you're an experienced single-handed thrower or a beginning whip thrower period, when you have two whips going at once, the chances of getting them tangled or them getting deflected and that whip ending up hitting your ear or hitting you in the eye is greatly enhanced. So safety goggles, wide brim hat. I wouldn't be ashamed to wear a long sleeve shirt. I'm in Florida, I'm wearing a t-shirt today, but certainly a long sleeve shirt's gonna protect your arms. So what can you do to protect the whip bottom if the whip bottom is willing to stand for you while you're practicing? Obviously, I like to practice with a sheepskin or a t-shirt you can't always have a bottom standing for you, but if you do have a bottom standing for you and you're just learning, some of the things that can increase the safety factor for you in the learning process, use tassel style crackers. I have a video on how to make a tassel style cracker, refer to that, or a Lady Sally style cracker. That would add another level of safety for you. Uh, Consider putting a hat or a leather hood uh, on the whip catcher that's standing for you to protect their head. Consider taking a towel and rolling it and putting it around their neck so you don't accidentally hit the back of the person's neck or a neck pillow that you see worn on airplanes or, uh, or long, you know, long trips. Uh, that will protect the neck as well. Uh, and actually, because this is just practice, you can actually put a leather vest on the person that's standing for you and practice against the leather vest at some point when you're comfortable that you're going to be able to finesse two-handed. The vest can come off, uh, but certainly the towel or the neck pillow, a hat or hood covering, um, goggles for the person that's standing because you're learning if you wrap that whip accidentally around their head you could catch them in the eye just as soon easily as you could catch yourself in the eye uh, no earrings no jewelry you don't want anything that could get tangled up in your whip uh, or your whips two-handed work is twice the danger when it comes to safety. Very easy to get the whips tangled or a deflection to happen and it not to go where you intend it to. And you're in the learning process of developing that muscle memory. So safety, safety, safety. As always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon.